AIDS.gov spoke with Mario Perez, director of the Division of HIV and STD Programs at Los Angeles County Department of Public Health. Mr. Perez told us about the Treatment Cascade, a model used by federal, state, and local agencies to identify issues and opportunities related to improving the delivery of services to persons living with HIV across the entire continuum of care. What is the HIV Treatment Cascade? You know, the Cascade really is sort of a model, a visual, a very important visual that walks us through the total number of people living with HIV um, in the United States, and then it's sort of concentrates on the proportion of folks who are diagnosed, the proportion of those folks who are linked to care, retained in care, on antiretroviral treatment, and ultimately sort of the proportion of folks who are virally suppressed. But the treatment cascade has also been adapted for use at the local level. And so there's a California treatment cascade, there's an LA County treatment cascade, there's a New York City treatment cascade. What have you learned from the local analysis of the HIV treatment cascade in LA County? Quite frankly, we were uh, I think alarmed that we didn't see a higher proportion of people who were virally suppressed in America. We thought it was our duty in LA to sort of paint the LA picture. And so in LA, we've actually looked at the cascade using a number of different data sets. Um, we estimate that people who are in the Ryan White system, for example, do much, much better than all the folks living uh, with HIV in LA County. We see that uh, African Americans uh, fare um, less well compared to other racial and ethnic groups. Uh, we're learning that women um, do a better job getting linked and retaining care compared to men. We've also learned that if you're diagnosed on a mobile testing unit in LA, you're less likely to be linked to care. And so the, the, the tool, the cascade, really ends up shedding light on a number of different interventions and what's sort of really happening and how to explain some of those bars um, along that continuum. How has the Cascade helped in HIV program planning? One of the areas of deepest concern is a drop-off uh, between folks who are diagnosed and ultimately linked to care. Sort of the one area in LA where there's a significant sort of drop to that next level of the Cascade, if you will. And what that really challenged us to do at the local level was look at the services and programs we had in place to sort of make that link much more effective. And so we really transformed our system of care in LA. A lot of linkage to care programs, a lot of peer navigation programs have been supported to really tackle uh, that one area in the cascade where we, quite frankly as a jurisdiction, we're not nearly doing as well as we wanted. How might others implement the treatment cascade in their communities and jurisdictions? Some important considerations for um, jurisdictions thinking about painting uh, the treatment cascade uh, for folks living with HIV um, in their communities to so think about your um, data resources and data sources. Some uh, jurisdictions have very robust laboratory information that can be used to sort of paint these pictures. In LA, we're very grateful that our legislature a few years ago sort of considered a bill that allowed for the first time the use of public health lab surveillance data, specifically HIV lab surveillance data, uh, to be used for public health purposes. This bill was really instrumental in helping local health departments use data in a way that they had not uh, before. And quite frankly, if it wasn't for that bill, um, I don't think we would be able to paint as robust uh, of pictures uh, tied to our cascade as, as we've been able to. For more information, including videos on the HIV treatment cascade, visit AIDS.gov.